first thing I was aware of it was um, looking up and seeing the surgeon and hearing him say, pity you were too late, Jack. It was, it was totally peaceful. It was um, a place of absolute compassion. This is the brain, but in fact the mind is truly out there. And this is a very ancient idea, and it is coming back again that this universe in which we live is in fact a mind in its own right, and we are just one element within that universe. Hello and welcome to another two days serpenteering. This week we're at the Merry Maidens, which are just outside of Penzance in Cornwall, England. We're here to find out more about these fantastic stones and just why on earth they were put here thousands of years ago. There are patches where you feel quite disorientated. I'm particularly interested in the personal development aspect of it, how people progress spiritually. The qualities of a healer, I think that they have to realise that although they've got this gift, it isn't really them, and they have to realise with, um, with humbleness in a way that they are lucky to be used, but everybody is, is, can be a healer. There are sites that I think are purely functional, and there are others that are deeply sacred, particularly when it comes to the standing stones. There's a very broad spectrum of, uh, of you know, whether it was intuitively and mystically motivated or if it was just a functional structure. You can't help but feel there's definitely something going on, yeah. but I'm still not convinced that it, it's not just a nice picnic spot, <laughs> Hamish. Well, obviously this is a very special place, uh -huh. and there's something uh, quite dramatic has happened since we started working on it because it's manifested another shape. You're feeling it? Yeah. Just since we've been is, here yeah, talking about it? I've just asked if, it's, if there's anything else here.